Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the new save file after our just ridiculously sad time last time. I want to play as Henry again. He's a good lad. He's a good lad. Let's play as Henry. Uh, yeah, we had that last episode where I tried to beat Ultra Hard Challenge. Genuinely think it might legitimately be impossible. Um, it sounds a bit defeatist of me. Um, and I'm sure there's some miracle in which it could bestow upon us a victory, but... Honestly, it's with Fiendfolio installed, it, it might genuinely be one of the hardest things you can possibly do in the Binding of Isaac. Like, actually, it's it's kind of ridiculous. But we are starting as good old Henry. I want to do a little bit of a, a re showcase of all the um, of all the the mods uh, modded classes that I got because I, I this is stuff I haven't played in a while. I mean, uh, as you guys know, I haven't played like Tainted Cane in ages and stuff, so. I want to go back through some of those guys and try them out again, have a bit of fun with them. Um, and, oh lord, for some reason I completely forgot that you did this, you stupid, you stupid enemy. Why aren't you dying? There you go. <laughs> but this guy, uh, as we know, he has the ability to shooteth the poop. Um, honestly, the best thing you can get is this guy is like a Jacob's Ladder or something that'll chain the uh the poop effect between enemies but also we need a lot of familiars because familiars uh have paired effects that work alongside um that work alongside this guy and implement certain effects onto his dips and flies so any way to generate more dips and flies is going to be good and any way to augment their abilities is going to be even better so let's look for all of those unfortunately this room is the big stinky like i might just die in this room like This is a really, really rough room. Okay, we got him. We got the largest threat. I mean, unfortunately, we still do have the slightly smaller threats of these guys, but their bounty shots can be rather aggressive. Some extra pennies there. Wasn't expecting that. And I turned you into poop. I like that. I like that very much, sir. So. But yeah, anything that we can do to leverage the amount of enemies we can turn to poop is going to be good. Uh, I do think at the minute our health and the potential of a Fiendfolia boss could grind this first run to a swift halt, but we will see. We will hope for the best, we'll pray, um, and we'll just see how it goes. I'm still reeling off of the back of yesterday's episode, slash the fact that any of you that watch the, um, any of you that watch the, the Darkest Dungeon series will know that I am, uh, I am a broken man. Uh, things happened in that episode, and it makes me cry. Oh, hello. Hello, friends. This is the sort of room we want to see before the boss. If we can get a bomb, it's even better, because then we've got poops to uh, devour. But right now, we can do quite a lot here. Gimme, gimme, gimme more friends. Oh, petrified poop. That's pretty amazing as this guy. Nice to get it early enough to make it valid. Um, hmm... Do I buy a heart here? It's it, it, like it's like why not? I might as well. Um, Isaac's bombs explode faster. We still haven't seen our item room yet. Again, we're hoping for familiars here, or like I said, some tier effect that allows us to use our poops more regularly. And this little army we've got going on already is going to be quite nice. I do I do have to say I think the the blue flies are a little bit meh. Because they just die so easily. Uh, obviously, because they just hit an enemy and they're gone. It'd be nice to have a, a bit of a better thing than getting blue flies sometimes. Especially when we've got low base DPS. Later on, they're a bit more valuable. Um, especially if we can get something that allows us to get even more of them, like compost or something. Give us just dirty mind. <laughs> Perfect. See, this is where it wasn't very good that I bought that heart. So now there's one on the floor. But I didn't want to take risks. And wow. Okay. Um... That is quite the start. That is quite the start. I uh, wasn't expecting that at all. Um, very, very happy to see it. Very, very happy to see it indeed. I, I, I genuinely, legitimately cannot remember the last time that I got uh, Mum's Knife from an item room. That is, that is a rarity. So I'm not going to get like too many like kill kills out of this because it's just going to kill the... The enemies, but my flies can do a bit of work for me. There's a soul heart in there, unfortunately, that I'd very much like to grab, but not in the cards for us today. Maybe I could have bought a bomb if I wasn't so frivolous, but it's a good start. This is a good start. We did get a Fiendfolio boss. 
of which I annihilated them in spectacular fashion. I'm a I'll be honest, I'm a little confused. I, um... What's happening here? <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, I'm gonna have to debug 10 this, aren't I? I think I killed the enemy so fast it didn't know what happened. I genuinely think that's what happened there. I think I killed the dude so fast I had no idea what was going on. Uh, let's just quickly check our max. Okay, so we've done... We could maybe do a mother run. That'd be kind of fun. Let's try that out. Try that out. The turdy boy to mother. Imagine we come across an actual Henry. Imagine a real-life sighting of an actual Henry appears. But yeah, mum's knife off the bat, baby. Off the bat. Can you ask for a better... A better system. Oh, we get some some of these as well. Unfortunately, we are going to end up killing a lot of the dips that we spawn. <laughs> That's just the nature of Mum's knife. But hey, her. Yeah, it's also good to go to this floor because there's higher chance of poops. Excuse me, Mr. Spinny, Spinny, Heady, Heady. No, thank you. And there's our bomb finally. From here, we get. Tammy's head, mum's knife isn't particularly good, but I'm going to take it anyways. Um, I can't remember exactly what it does, but I, th I think, if I remember correctly, it's not very good. <laughs> it just shoots out a few knives that do pretty low damage. It's not terrible. It's not great. I mean, the the active like uptime on the uh, the head is not great mainly. Like, the, the head is sta stays above your head for ages. Like, you hold it above your head for a while. But in situations like that, it's going to clear the entire damn room, so... I suppose I don't have much to complain about. Grab those. We got a shop here, which I don't think we need to bother with right now. That just missed entirely. So okay, the ooh, a luck penny as well, baby. We've got the ball rolling here. Okay, no, this is incredible. Where, where did I get the idea that this was bad? Because this is not bad, not bad at all. I am liking the spiciness that we can get out of this. I mean, look at that. I did half his health in one go. I'm super grateful that we can still spawn poops as well so easily. I didn't think we'd be able to, but... We're still spawning poops like crazy. Petrified poop is working out very, very well. Um, I think I'm still going to go angel deal here, I'll be honest. Um... I just, I, I want to keep as much health as we can. But this is a cracked run. Like, this is an actually pretty cracked run. It's it's kind of ludicrous how much swag this run has occurred. In terms of question of the day, um, I really want to do another poop-related one, but I shouldn't. Oh, that guy exploded it. Um, oh, shit. Oh, shit. The Tammy's head ones get herming if we fire it while in the radius of our little friends here. That is mental. Um, hmm. Question of the day. Let's let's quickly see if we can do a chat GT, GPT one. If I can say that right. Chat. There you go. Gimme, gimme. Log me in. Log me in. Quick, quick, quick. I need to ask you for a question of the day. Give me a question of the day for my YouTube video. Let's see what it comes up with. What's one thing you wish you'd had known before you started playing The Binding of Isaac? There you go. It said it said a particular hobby or interest. But let's just say, look at that, the Herming. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. <laughs> this is ludicrous. Yeah, what's something you wish you'd have known before you started playing The Binding of Isaac? That's a decent one. I should probably, do you know what? I'm just bomb my donation machine. I'm very rude to my donation machine recently, but it is what it is. This is a pretty damn good item. And I want it in my belly. But yeah, basically, as long as we stand in the radius of our little poopy friends as we enter a room, we are, we are golden. Like, look at this. <laughs> what the fuck? This is awesome. <laughs> oh my god, I fucking love this. This is, this is 
crazy. This is crazy. Forever alone. Oh my lord, this is absolutely ludicrous. Like, look at that. It just like handled the entire room apart from this one guy. <laughs> And the thing is, our, our poops here, not going to have the chance to die. Yeah, sadly, not as big of a success there, but it's okay. We'll manage. Um, probably actually prefer the range up with Mum's knife. Jesus juice is fine by me. I'll take this for more eternal heart chances. There you go, you're dead. Considering the fact that we only have like 4.2 damage when we're over that thing, it's it's actually crazy. Also, look at our face. What has happened here? Our face has become something quite grotesque. Quite grotesque indeed. Oh my god. I I can't I can't even say how in love with this run I currently am. It's a, it's it's a high degree. For the black heart. Right, let's go do our white fire business. Mm. We do have the holy mantle ready. Also, when you're in the radius of them dips, you have um, you have the interesting. Um, you have the what's it called? Um, effect where it's fifty only fifty percent chance to take damage. Stay away from my sons. <clears throat> it's just bonkers. I mean, I'm gonna have to go do the boss. Because we've got we've got more options as well, so it makes even more sense than normal. Excuse me? Uh, I lost my holy mantle there and I don't really know how. Apparently a dip still loses your holy mantle for you. Which is slightly un slightly confusing and annoying. Did, did you just destroy one of my uber dips? Lost my holy mantle again here. Let's be very, very cautious about killing these guys. There you go. And then we'll take the drum. Thank you, thank you. Right. We've been losing a few of our holy dips. I'm not very happy about that. But otherwise, this is going well. Also, a tinted drop there that I didn't see before. Pretty awesome. Right. We are on our way, son. There's another Tinted Rock right here. Hell. I wish I had more bombs. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Right. Let's go. My god. This is quite something. We're on the home stretch now. That's the hardest thing we have to do. Now it's just keep it, keep on keeping on. Now I want just normal homing. Because this would be just ludicrous with normal homing. I'd love to see that. One sec. Right. Let's keep this moving on. So, it's going to be a little harder for us to stay in the radius of our boys. Like, there, I completely missed the mark. And I don't even know what enemies we have. Oh, I see. I see you. I see you. Don't you dare kill my good dips. Look at that. Like, look how swiggly, swiggly, swoogly it went there. It's, it's, it's just entertaining. It's pure bliss. <clears throat> the room is done. We've got a tainted trash room here. This will be for Mum's knife. Oh, no, it's not. Instead of receiving items after defeating a boss, you gain a permanent flat damage boost. Nah. There's too many potentially good boss items for that to be a good idea for us right now. Oh, my God. I almost one-shot this guy. Like, it's an... I'd say it's an interesting idea uh, if I wasn't playing modded, which obviously makes no sense because that is a modded item in itself. But there's so many potentially good modded items we can get as boss items, especially when we've got more options with higher chance of finding them, that it's just not a great idea to, to lower our chances of finding those. Don't you dare touch this that cactus. You fucker! You both did it! You cowards! You cowards. 
now I have to rely on goddamn stinking actually killing things regularly. How dare you? How dare you put me in such a position? I have to actually fucking pay attention now. Really, how dare you? Uh, more reflected items is... It's difficult, because it's, it's, it's good, but, like, Petrified Poop is just insanely good for us. Like, it's, it's, it's gonna take a lot for me to want to put that down. Yeah, this is an entertaining run, to say the least. Taking a lot of the random items here, we've got, um, a bunch of flies around us now. Um, we've almost got, um, Beelzebub, but we're only one off. <laughs> I like the way that enemy just turned to a poop without making a single noise. It's just like, yep, I accept this fate. You got turned to a red poop. Nice. I'm going to try and do some extra rooms here. Did we do boss rush last time? We didn't do boss rush, so boss rush is definitely in the cards for us here. Without herming, this feels hollow, even though it's still so f***ing powerful. Um, I think this is probably worth it, especially if you get more money from uh, Petrified Poop. That's another look, Penny. Wowee. Oh, wowee. Just go straight for the boss now. Get ready to rock his world in an unsexual manner. See, now that, that is where not having Herming really, really shits the bed. We got the Queen of Clubs unlocked. Uh, this will be a damage down right now, so I definitely don't want that. Um... While not particularly good for us, the range is nice. Like, range with Mum's knife helps a lot. Like, it never used to, it never used to matter, but then they, they, they like, halved its range, and it now actually is kind of a pretty important factor for Mum's knife to do reasonably well, so... I'm glad to have extra range. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? I got hit as well. Just wholeheartedly upsetting. Now, Molten Dime. Ooh, baby. Molten Dime is really, 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 really good, but to in order to get Molten Dime, we would have to give up the Tammy's Head potential synergy we have right now, which at the minute isn't actually doing a lot. It's only when we have the Herming that it really thrives. I mean, it's, still, it's still very good, as you just saw there. Pinchy Crabs, boys. Oh, that guy destroyed the door in doing that. Interesting. Oh my god. How does my face look so messed up? Yeah. White Rose, I think I'll just take. Blank would have also been pretty good, but White Rose is equally as good, I think, if not a little bit better. Nice. Um, I'll crack. I'll crack at least that open. Maybe. Oh, hello. There's a Tinted Rock in there. Didn't even see that. Ooh, a token. Um, I'll leave the token till the end of the floor. And I'll, I'll leave that nickel there as well in case we get something that works. I should probably bomb this now. I've got a ton more bombs as well. But yeah, we'll, we'll leave that. We might get double the nickel. We might go for something else. I'm not sure yet. Ugh. Ugh. Room's kind of gross. We've got to wait for this guy to shit out his little children. Yeah, he shout his kids. We got our job done. We knew the f on. Yeah, I don't know what else we'd be looking for from the token, I'll be honest. You see what I mean by like, goddamn, you hold the goddamn Tammy's head above your head for so fucking long. You could be killing stuff in that time, you goose. Secret room here, maybe? Most indubitably. Skrilla, good bit of money. This guy's a little bit of a pain, as we've proven in the past. But, we've got him. We've definitely got him. Definitely want to take Mr. Dolly for the range and tears. 
Um, going to do this first so I don't lose the black heart. Right. We're not really playing to the strengths of Henry, I'll be honest, but... Still, I just want more holy dips. Where did they come from? Where did they go? Where did they come from, Cotton Eye Joe? I'd like, I'd like them back, please. The interaction with Tammy's head must have been changed, because it used to be poo-poo. It used to be not very good at all. Um, I think I'm just going to take that soul heart, you know. My is my dupe thing. There you go. Extra soul heart. Nothing crazy, but not bad at all. Right. Downeth we go. Uh, do I want to play this a little bit? Not really, to be honest. I was just about to say, if I get any soul hearts, I'm going to be annoyed because I can't actually use them, so not much point in playing that. And of course, the fucking first pull gives me a soul heart. Oh, it's Gehenna. Hello. Maybe we'll finally find the new Fiend Folio boss that got added a few, like a month or two ago. We still haven't seen yet. Oh, really? It didn't, it didn't just go straight? I just turned a lot of those guys into poops there. I like it. God damn, it's so frustrating that we auto-kill the dips when we goddamn hit them. A new pill. Complete the bestiary. I don't think we've done that at all. That is a that is a bull faced lie, game. But thank you for the new pill. <laughs> Complete the bestiary. What? How the hell have we done how the hell would we have done that? Don't think that's true. Strange. I see you there, Mr. Contraband. I knew it. Alright, what do you have for us? PhD? Yes, I think so. I think PhD could be good for us here. Didn't really know what was going on with that room. Kind of shot myself a little bit. Holy fuck, these enemies are scary. This this guy is so fucking cool looking. Like, one of the best Gehenna sprite enemies, I think. Love him. What card is that? Oh, three of diamonds, okay. Three of diamonds. Guy tried to steal my goddamn contraband. I would not think so, Mr. Ladder. Okay, so bags do do bag things. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Ooh, hello, what the hell? So you, like, revive things, I think? Whoa, that's yeah, a little slime pile. He got stuck in that phase. Oh, no, he's, he's, he's regained now. Odd times, there's a lot of enemies here that I'm not really recognizing. Game kid? I don't think so. No, we killed it again. That definitely is something with this character that I don't like. I really don't like the fact that you have to walk into the dip. They, I think they should just be auto converted, converted when they're generated, rather than you having to like, like walk into them. Because yeah, like I'm just killing them all the time. There's not much I can do about it. I don't know where this guy came from. Hello. Almost got them all there. We've seen everything we need to see this floor. I think we have. This has been a speedy ass run. Oh, what? That did no damage? What happened? We've actually got really kind of pathetic damage, to be honest. We've only got 3.8 damage. Whoa, he kind of got me stuck there. All good. And then I think I'll take this. Angel Deal, what do you hold for me? Immaculate Heart. Don't mind if I diddly do. Take that as well, because why not? Right. Contraband, you are going to give me something very awesome that's going to define my entire build. 
hot bombs. I feel like he gives me hot bombs quite a lot. That's not going to define my entire build. Oh, really? See, this is the problem with, with it not having Herman right now. We use it, and it goddamn misses, and then I've got to hold the stupid cat head above my head for like fucking three years while my guy tries to sort himself out. I just want to get back to the good times where it had Herming. <laughs> is that so hard? Is that so difficult to ask? Oh, Reaper Bum. I love Reaper Bum. Because you don't actually have to give him anything you wouldn't be taking anyways, because it's just souls from killing enemies. Like that, like, you, would, you wouldn't be getting those. Like, you're not giving up a heart like it would be Dark Bum or whatever. And he just gives you shit. He just gives you stuff. It's, it's a good relationship. Duplopia, you say. Duplopia, you say. Hmm. Duplopia, you say. <gasps> no way! It's on, baby! The game's afoot. Oh, it's all happening now. It's all happening. Two more buddies. Two more friends. Two more fresh fellas to keep this Rolling. Oh boy. Don't you dare walk into the spikes, you fool. I can't believe the last ones of you killed yourself. Very upsetting. Also, I don't really know what to do about you. Oh my. Beautiful. Okay, apparently I wasn't in the radius there, which I, I legitimately don't even know how. I'm liking this chain chomp looking dude here. That's cool. Give me a card. I suppose I should take that at least. Actually, I'd be fighting Mum, so it's not very useful. Give us a golden poop. I like the way if they tend to poop, they don't do that on death effect either. It's also very useful. Golden penny? I forgot we actually have those unlocked now. We've got three holy dips now. Do you know what? I, why am I even doing this golden penny business? I really don't need it. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I got a turtle heart randomly. Really don't know where that came from, but I will certainly take it on board. God damn, the music on this floor is kicking. <gasps> Ooh, baby, I love you way. More of my curses. Now, actually thinking about it, this is where golden penny makes more sense. Okay, I got two extra pennies out of it. Yeah, because I can get the, um... What's it called out of it? Oh my god, it cleared the entire room. Um, placard. Oh, really? Four pennies? You're gonna give me four whole pennies? Rude. You could've give me 25. To give me four is just rude. Don't you dare hurt my dips. Whoa, look at that fucking herming more of my cursor shot. Oh wait, no, it's from Immaculate Conception. Whoopsie. Not Immaculate Conception, you know what I mean. The heart. Got them heart thing I've got going on. Dip friends. Right, um, I think we're ready to go here. <laughs> You've been hit by a smooth criminal. Right, uh, we want to take damage, we want to take the knife piece which we've got now, we want to go in here, um, I think I do want Lusty Blood, that damage is pretty trash, and then we want to go in here, and Spirit of Acceptance is pretty interesting, um, although a little bit too late because we're not going to get many more items. Bottomless bag's interesting. Wow factor's not great. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take Spirit of Acceptance. Although it's not going to be particularly, like, super valuable here. It could be an item, actually. Oh, what the fuck? I'm confused. Why did it give me random items here? Okay, I'm probably going to lose my Holy Dips here as the only greatest disaster of the 21st century. I've already lost a lot of them. Got to burn heart out of this somehow. I think more of my curse is like shoots out shots when I hit enemies. Chill out, fella. 
Go on, chill out. Got a card there as well. This guy's getting souls for days. This guy's on a soul bend. Apparently we've got something interesting going on with scatter bombs and hot bombs when uh, we get a, a locust of war. Holy shit, what the fuck happened there? Don't sit on my friends. And Diff is my family. You killed my family, how dare you? You scoundrel. You fiend. You philistine. How could you do this? Oh my god, so many drops. <clears throat> this is just nuts. What do you want, fella? You wanna hit me, do you? Okay, I lost my eternal heart, but... Do I look bothered? Do I look like I care even a single ounce? And we're constantly generating, we've got some red fires in here, so we're constantly generating locusts of war, which are doing these explosions of like crossfires. There's another one, look. Another eternal heart, why not? Like, there's so many fires down there, look, that that guy's just, like, dying instantly. Like, <laughs> the enemies are just dying straight away because there's so many fires. Like, what the fuck? That was ludicrous. That was crazy. Oh, we got Seraphim as well. Hello. Hello, my Seraph friend. I still can't believe they, they murdered my family the way that they did. I've managed to hit myself with both of them explosions thus far. All three, in fact. All three. <laughs> wow. Okay. I think we're all ready. Let's go down. That has been a joyous occasion. Truly. Truly a joyous occasion. Let's go. Beautiful stuff there. Bit of extra damage from that heart as well. Oh my god, the locusts of war are gonna be such a huge issue. We're seeing where this takes us. Oh my god. Definitely need to be more careful at getting hit. I'm getting hit a lot of the minute. Okay, I found my way to the boss very quickly. That's very nice. This guy's giving me so many burn hearts as well. This guy's a G. I don't know why it didn't pop that. I should have left it to the next floor. Oh, we got another holy dip. Don't die, my friend. Don't die. Need to keep you around. Full bandage. Fraudulent fungus plus blue cat. One of them going. We got the fun guy transformation before we got Beelzebub. How? How? I mean, to be fair, we did just take two mushrooms back to back. Oh, we got another one. It seems like when you get one, you just... The ball starts rolling and you get more and more and more of them. Also, I've just realised... My dips are firing Seraphim shots. Holy shit. Didn't even think about that. Aquarius? Oh, baby. Oh, baby, you. You're all that I need. They're all firing Seraphim shots. That's awesome. That's so cool. Another burn heart. We've, we've, we've very quickly pivoted away from any soul heart health. <laughs> very, very quickly.
the herming on Mum's knife is just ridiculous. Oh no, I lost one of my burn hearts. What am I ever going to do? Although you did kill my dips, which I'm absolutely distraught about. I'm not sure when you did that, but... Not something that I'm at all pleased about. Especially for a room that didn't lead anywhere. That is truly one of the largest crimes. Again, I'm going to say it again at the 21st century because it is. It's terrible. How could you? You should be put on trial. Trial by fire. Chaos this could absolutely ruin us if it gives us something bad, but I'm still going to save it for the boss and use it in the boss fight. Because it's, it's got more chance of being good than bad, but it could be terrible. Thank you, my friend. Oh, there's still an enemy in here, I see. One makes you I don't know how that works on this floor. Because it, it, it takes you a black market you can't escape from. You have to, like, leave to go to the next floor, so I don't know how that would work. Reflux? Okay, that's not great. Reflux is not something we want. So basically, we, we now we now explode as, ourself upon firing, which is intriguing, but it's potentially quite useful, actually. Not actually load of a fire rate as much as I thought it was going to either. Okay, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. We can basically tap fire and just explode the fuck out of everything. More items. Cube baby. Secretion. Okay, do we finally get... Okay, nice, nice. We've got some good stuff going. How are you not dead yet? Come on now. There you go. Don't be silly. <laughs> this is crazy. Just explosions galore. Got a baleful heart going as well. Oh, hell. King of Diamonds. So many unlocks this room. What the hell? So many unlocks. Was not expecting it, but very, very welcome to have it. This run really got off the rails, didn't it? It really started... Started so simple. It was only a kiss. <laughs> Now it's, it's goddamn this craziness that I love. Oh no, I've been hit. What am I ever going to do? We got Spirit Sword. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> There's so much poop in here. Oh god, I crashed the game. <laughs> That's the first time I've pressed the game like that in so long. I'm going to have to replay that whole goddamn floor now, aren't I? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Okay. Don't use the chaos disc next time. Don't use the chaos. I'm going to have to replay that whole goddamn floor. How dare you. How dare you, game. <laughs> Uh, the, the way in which that poop spawning item spawns poops is not optimal, clearly. Right. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to redo that whole, that whole floor. That's actually the first crash I've had in a really long time, though. I was having very, very consistent crashes before. And that's the first one we've had in a while. But that's really nice to see. We could just beeline it to the boss this time around. Bravery. Extra damage versus bosses. Nice. Yeah, let's just go beeline it for the boss this time. We don't need all the extra items we had. That reflux one was interesting, but not all that useful for us, I don't think. Spider eggs this time. That was different. And God's Flesh is also different. God 
some champions here. We've got a different curse this time as well, I think. Activate to store, um, store charge from your active item. Activate again to recharge. I think that's useful. I'm not sure. Teeth enemies coming at me. Can't afford that, whatever it is. Really, I missed with all of those. Come on now. It like homed in, but poorly. I don't think there was anything in this for us, was there really? There's a different rune in there than before. Moving along, what rune is that? Yeah, it's just Hag Hagalars, Hagendars, what you want to call it. Right. We go. Yeah, the, the story factory was useful because we, we got a bunch of extra charges here, look. Oh, there's a, I think there's a red poop underneath him, dude. Is there a red poop, like, underneath him? I think there is. Yeah, there is. There's, there's a red poop just chilling under there, just destroying him. Yeah. Probably gonna take some hefty damage here, but no need to fret, no need to worry. We got rainbow poops in the business doing stuff as well. Basically impossible for us to fail at this point. <clears throat> this is such a ludicrous character. I fucking love it. Anyways, I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed that. That was that was something else entirely. I hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.